um, a reason why English Cameroon didn't join Nigeria. You know, there are several reasons, but this is part of the reasons. According to him, Cameroon is one of the countries that is very close to Nigeria. They share common boundaries. Before Cameroon became a country of its own, they were given two options to either join Nigeria or French Cameroon. But see what they did according to Professor Fanso, who is a Cameroonian from the English-speaking side. An extract from his BBC interview In 1961, we were denied the option of having our own country. We were only given two options, either we join Nigeria or we join French Cameroon. Cameroon. We were afraid of the Igbos due to their domineering nation. They were controlling all the markets and occupying large farms and settlements in our territory. Because they mean the right way, I want to repeat again. Mm -hmm. Because they mean the right way to pass. Give that side for French man, give this side for English man. Now why that this side be the top French, this side the top English? Okay. But mommy, why would not be joining Nigeria? Nigeria not be Nigeria, Nigeria not be with brother. But they not be treat with fine or not. No, they not be the treat with fine. Then where they be give we for English man, then take we give them now for Nigeria. You the who blue at some Igbo man or cut them throw away for you thinking you must pay. Me show sure you must. Then treat we like a slave so you who show at some say I'm over this shoe. Then we say you must pay and. You you deny you will go for what fee you may tell me. lawyer na na ebo man eh magic na ebo man you know get where where you feel Joshua we been as left yeah okay so those people they never control na too much na when I'm just one free so we can rule na own self no even my no see that one we be no say we brother na is Cameroon we been we be no say we brother mm -hmm. na that one with any speak French mm -hmm. uh -huh. we be no because map the issue. We map the issue say we been being a Cameroon. Nigeria no be Cameroon. One of the things I know about Cameroon is the Cameroon paper. My name is Oladuni. Oladuni, what comes to your mind when you hear the country Cameroon? Cameroonia. Like what's the person that comes to your mind? Cameroonians like is that a country? Yes, the country in Africa. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to my mind that Cameroon will be a country in Africa. That's all. Yes, that is all I'm, that is all I'm okay. about. Cameroon and Nigeria, it is very important that Cameroonians understand what Nigerians think about them. Oh, you're not famous. What's on your mind when you hear the country Cameroon and Cameroon? How? How was that? Like one country that is not that, that popular or stuff like that. But why do you think they're not so popular? Because they're not like in the media. Yeah, I'm always laying about them everywhere. Unlike my country. What's your name? I'm classic. What's on your mind when you hear Cameroon and Cameroonian? Cameroon. What do you think about Cameroon? Um, I would say their culture, the way of lifestyle, you know. Yeah. That's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear about it. Uh, Cameroon. Yeah, I think so, yeah. My name is Esther. Esther, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the country in Cameroon? Mm, I feel like Cameroon is a less developed country and it's not really populated. That's the person that comes to your mind. Yeah, because Nigeria is even more better than Cameroon. From my own perspective. Okay. My name is um, Wachukuni Kachukumiri. Okay, yeah. What comes to your mind when you hear the country Cameroon? Like, what's the person that comes to your mind? Wow. Um, uh, nothing, actually. <laughs> nothing, because like, I'm not familiar with that one like that now, so I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> my name is Fabo. Fabo, so what comes to your mind when you hear the country of Cameroon? Or? Cameroon. Uh, nothing comes to my mind. It's not a really popular country, so I don't know much about it. Oh, um, my name is Jeremy. Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. What's the person that comes to your mind when you hear the country of Cameroon? 
um lots of black skinned people are less dark that's the kind of thing that comes to my head that's yeah actually hi what are your names i'm james i'm latifat Alright, James and Latifat, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the country Cameroon? Cameroon. Camel. Camel? What the? <laughs> Sounds like Camel. <laughs> I just know it's an African country, right? That's all, no. you don't like hear anything, you don't know anything about it. No, because I'm not even interested. But I doubt you have Camels there, do they? <laughs> I don't even know. Camels, by are you kidding me? Camels, your name? My name is Adela. <laughs> So okay. What comes to your mind when you hear about the country Cameroon and its people? Cameroon and Cameroon as a country and Cameroonians. Uh, sometimes I feel they are not that civilized. <laughs> I think it's one uncivilized country like that. I want you to keep listening because our people, you guys, got to open your eyes. When you sit in Cameroon, you don't know what other nations only within Africa think about you. And you got to get over this idea of thinking that you are defined based on your color. Black should not define you. You guys got something to offer the world. And you have been held back so long because you think that somehow... Uh, some other nations are better than you guys. You got to associate with them to be visible. All of this notion is uh, erroneous. You got to believe in yourself. For over how many years you've been fighting right now? Seven years. I want to ask Cameroonians a question. Which African nation has come to your rescue? None. And that is why I'm encouraging you to learn from the best nations in the world. Stop looking at an, any African country. To help you get inspiration from the best in the world. That is how you will be able to make yourself visible, change the world, create value that makes you become the envy of the world. And if you change your mindset, this 2024 will start seeing great things happening in Cameroon. You've been caged for a very long time. And my job is to open up that door, break loose from the chains so that you can be able to let your creativity be known by the world. Because you might think, oh, they know me, they know me. You hear that? Most Nigerians don't know who you are at all. But yet you are neighbors with Nigeria. You are the closest neighbor to Nigeria. At least they should know about you. They should know you even exist. They should even care to know. This is the thing, guys. When people don't care to know about you, do not force yourself to be known by them. Francis Ngano blazed a trail when it comes to boxing. I saw a lot of posts online of Nigerians saying he is from Nigeria. They said that. And many people were liking that post. Francis Ngano is from Cameroon. He's the best heavyweight boxer, mixed martial arts fighter in the world. Samuel Tofis is one of the great soccer players in the world. Cameroon has great talent. It is your job, the blogger in Cameroon, to make these people be known by the world and keep repeating every day if possible. On your blogs to let the world know that you guys have greatness within you no one would hold your hands put you on their platforms and let the world know who you are open your eyes to this reality i'm telling you this from first hand and i've done extensive research on every african country some said it's uh, an insignificant country in the world. Is that a country even? Is that a place? Oh, I know it's some country with black skin. You've heard all of the statements. You might try to soften it and make it look like it's nothing, but it means something. I know what this does to the psychology of people. I know what this does to your self-image. I know what this does to your confidence. When people don't know you, they don't act like they know you, and you're trying to force yourself on them. It's like a relationship with a woman or with a man, and you are there 
thinking that somehow they care about you, they know you, they're going to help you someday. The, all of these expectations that will never become a reality will just keep you stuck in one place instead of exploring this world. We have internet today. You should not beg anybody to make you visible. I repeat that again. The internet is available today. You should not beg any nation to make you available or to make you visible. You should be out there demonstrating to the world your capabilities. Just like Tizik Pancha did and got the attention of Rick Rose. Just like how Shu Yo did and got the attention of 50 Cent. And I just want to let you guys know it is that energy. Just like Via Le Bianca. Le Bianca put her song on TikTok and it went viral and the whole world was touched by it. That is the dispensation we find ourselves in. That is what I know for a fact that there is no nation that can really help you today. And thinking that a collaboration will make you visible is just a waste of time. Okay, let's keep listening. So much in the media. Um, maybe. I think so, maybe. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, there we have it. A lot of Nigerians do not know so much about Cameroon as I expected, or rather as I suspected. I'm just going to try to... It's okay. So you heard the conclusion of that. A lot of Nigerians do not know much about Cameroon. You see it? I just want to help you understand that. Because you watch countless Nigerian films. And you underestimate how this is affecting your income, especially those movies that promote violence like Isakaba. Because what hurts me about everything right now is the thousands of young people that have gone out there and lost their lives because they believe that they are invincible. A bullet cannot penetrate them. And I know the motivation came out of these movies. Are you understanding what I'm saying? 